Welcome to episode two of Gary Goes Green, where I'm gonna share with you all the things that I've learned in the first month of owning my SunSync hybrid inverter and battery setup. And if you stay on to the very end, I'll scroll through my smart meter and we can see how that will relate to pound notes in my pocket. However, the system also plays into one of my many new obsessions, which is that I've become a meteorologist. And as I look up at the sky and see all these dark clouds and the potential for rain, I already understand that the sunlight that will be generated today probably won't won't be strong enough to power my house and charge my battery. However, I've still found clever little ways to save energy as well by hunting down the parasitic loads within my property, as well as changing some of the habits I have on using energy. And I'll show you all of those in this video. Confession time, to say I'm in love with my SunSync app and the setup I've got here in my plant room would be a massive understatement. I remember from the first video, I've had some additionalities added to this area in the form of the basin and the toilet to make it a dual purpose purpose room. But it was the app that allowed me to look at my parasitic loads. In other words, I could start understanding what energy my property was using when I wasn't in it. And it was hovering around about 300 watts, which doesn't sound a lot, but every bit of energy I can now save is energy that the sun can use to charge my battery that I could use later on. Now I understand I can't turn off my fridge and fridge freezer, but what I could do is start working out what items we had within the house that were on and not being used that could reduce that energy down. So I started in my daughter's bedroom. So I've managed to gain access. I'm down here by the call box and you might just be able to hear it whirring away. Now that whirring away is obviously using electricity. So I've plugged my power meter in down here so I can see it's hovering around about 50 to 54 watts of electricity. Well, let's multiply that up first of all by 10 hours. So let's go 50 times 10 gives us 500 watts. And then we double that through to about one kilowatt hour of electricity per day, which is a staggering amount when you think our battery can hold 5.2 kilowatt hours. And therefore, is it a load that we need to be on 24 hours a day? Are we best utilizing the energy in this cooler? Well, the only way to find out is to open the box and have a look. And as I swing open the door, I can clearly see it's cooling just five chocolates. So I don't believe that one kilowatt hour of electricity is worth it to keep five chocolates cool. So I'm gonna save some energy straight away by just pulling the lead out of the back. So this parasitic load is gone. So then in my attention was drawn to things like my VHS video recorder and DVD. Please jump back on your chair and stop laughing. And they sit there idly not doing anything because I never use them, okay? And when I investigated the amount of energy they're using, it's a couple of watts. And then I went on to think about the six smart speakers I have within my installation. Do I use them all? No, I don't. So I've unplugged a couple of those, but I needed to know what they were using. And they're using about a watt of electricity for those. So not a huge saving, but it all adds up. So I'm trying to reduce the 300 watts there about my installation sits at by removing some of these parasitic loads. I kind of save more energy by changing my habits when it comes to cooking. This is the most energy hungry part of my installation, the kitchen. And I modified at the start of this process my behavior when it came to cooking. So I was doing things like having my full fan assisted oven going. And then when it does get up to temperature, the red light would cut out. And at the point it would cut out, I would consider then adding other energy loads on, like turning the microwave on to a setting maybe to start cooking the peas and sweet corn. And I was balancing between the two to make sure that I used the most from the sun and the most of the 2.5 kilowatt hours that I can discharge from my battery. I could get it up to full discharge of 3.6 kilowatt hours if I added another battery, but I didn't have that. Then it made me think about the capacity of the oven. That's okay on a Sunday where I've loaded all three shelves up and I'm maximizing the heat within that space. But what about in the week when my children are maybe just doing a, a few chips and a pasty are in there and we're having to heat the whole of that space in order just to cook a meal for one person. Surely that's a waste of energy so it made me think. Tim Hayes have taken the plunge and we've got ourselves an air fryer. Now it makes super logical sense to me. The left hand drawer we use for cooking meat and the right hand one for every other product. But when I think about the amount of space that needs to be heated up is considerably smaller than my oven and therefore it gets up to temperature a lot quicker and cooks the food a lot faster. By being quicker and faster, I save energy and by saving energy, I save money. And talking of saving energy, there's another one of those parasitic loads, the batteries for my son's Xbox. Still on charge, but fully charged, I've just turned off. I said at the start of this video, I would show you how much money my smart meter has saved me since the start of the process. As I scroll through my readings, you can see we started at 33 pound 26 and then 31, 32, and then we had 23, 65, which sounds great, but I was on holiday for five days that week. I came back for 34 pound 55 and then my solar kicked in 
18 pound two, 18 pound 58. Well, what are the chances? The sun is now beating down on both me and my solar array, charging my battery and powering my house. If you've got any top tips for saving energy, please leave them in the comments. It will help me and others as well. And if you wanna see how Gary Goes Green episode three happens, check it out on the screen now. But if it isn't there, I would have left another video from some of the great products that SunSync produce.